I have some plastic packaging. I have a bunch of privacy envelopes and junk mail. I have my wallpaper border, an old tea towel, and some paper clips, and my little bits of lace. My scrap box, just in case. We're making my ephemeral holder and my tassel today out of just junk. Let's get going. Hi everybody, it's Julie, and we are gonna start with my ephemeral holder, then we're gonna be making a little tassel for my January Just Junk Journal Challenge journal. Um, my journal is finished. I just have to make the tassel and the embellishment holder, and then we can call January done mark it off and be ready for tomorrow for the brand new February junk journal challenge. So I have this, um, this is what I chose to make my ephemeral holder out of was a wallpaper. Um, yeah, wallpaper. And I'm hoping that these are going to fit. They're close. They're close. Let's see if we have, I have two different kinds that come every month that they're both the same size. See them? See that? See that? See that? Okay, that one's a little shorter. Okay, so, um, but the really cool thing is, is we can go ahead. I'm going to grab three of these. One, two three. Actually, that one's got to we'll go one, two, three of those. And um, I'm going to set these aside. We may need those again in a little bit. And so um, so how am I? Okay, first I need to, I'm going to measure my oh, perfect. That part's perfect. This part, not so perfect. Okay, the thing is, is we've got this, this happening. So let's go ahead and fold this. Okay, fold that. And I can either fold this one in or I can go ahead and cut that off. So we're gonna we're gonna decide that in just a few minutes. I'm gonna put it over here and hope that it flattens out a little bit while it's sitting there. Okay, for this, you know, we can deconstruct our envelope. Privacy envelopes is my favorite junk to use, and you know that's partially because it's free. Also, um, you get a lot of a lot of variety. You get a, a pattern sometimes, usually. If it's a privacy envelope, you're probably going to get a pattern in it, and that's to to block so that it keeps you what your what came in the mail private. Okay, so I'm going to need to take all three of these apart. So let's do that. Okay, so that is done. So we are going to want to set these up. Okay. And pull out the, the wallpaper again and get an idea for how much we need to take off. Okay. So, yeah, the really um, technical method here of, <laughs> of uh, measuring. Okay, so I need to come in that far on each of my envelopes. Okay, so whatever your measurement is that you need, 
Now, I've made an entire journal out of privacy envelopes. And I turned them inside out and used the awesome printed as what you, what you saw, what you got. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Okay. And... Okay, so now that I've got them, I can reconstruct them and we'll go ahead and add the glue and I'm just going to reconstruct just like you're seeing here, okay? <laughs> Come on, XL. I think this bottle is just about had it. <laughs> So we've got some, well, oops. There we go. You see what I did? I put glue in places that don't need glue. <laughs> put glue, so, glue in places that don't need glue. So let's grab a towel. Okay, let's do better on the others. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and that whole piece needs glue. And we're just going to put glue where we took glue off. How's that? Put glue where we took glue off. Put a little under there. So that can be... Okay. And we'll just put our envelope back together. But you can see it's smaller. Okay. So this is better. Glue on where we took glue off. Okay, flip it up, close it up. There we go, okay? So I have my three envelopes, okay? And so, Okay, so next, what I'm going to want to do is I going to want my, my goodie here. And you know what? We could go, this could, I'm glad we haven't taken that piece off yet. Okay, so that could go, well... We're going to go ahead and put this in. Okay. Um, do I have anything kind of heavy? There we go. Okay. I'm going to start with one over here. I'm going to put one of my envelopes in. Okay. So we could go ahead and roll this the other way. Actually, I'm going to just, you remember I took some paper clips out earlier. Let's just go ahead and clip it down. Let's see if that helps me at all. This is real life here. <laughs> Real life. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and put glue on this. You know, I cut this piece off several days ago. I should have had it 
learning how to be flat, but I didn't do that. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this, turn it over, and lay it on this page. So that's my first page. Then I've got my second one and I'm gonna put that on top of this one. And let's see how I'm gonna add that. make this one a little bit shorter. So this one's going to be just a little bit shorter than the other one. Okay, and then I'm going to glue it right here. Okay, so it's going to have glue across here and we will give it glue across the bottom. I wasn't sure if I was going to glue it across the bottom but we will. Okay and Is not even close to being on there in the right place. I don't know what happened. <laughs> there we go. Okay, then we have one more and we're gonna lay that one in and figure out where we need to fold that one. And this one I'm gonna fold up, okay? So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and fold it up. Because that'll give us a pocket on the front. Okay, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna close it here and in the middle and on the edge. Okay, so the base of my, um, my ephemeral holder had to be made out of the wallpaper because when I drew what I was making and what I was making it with, I, that's what I drew and this is um, because this is for the challenge okay so I'll go ahead and look that hold that down while I figure out how we're gonna put this one on here Uh, 
Okay, so I think that that's held pretty good. And now we'll do this again. We're gonna go across the bottom. And I wanna give it a nice hold. So I'm gonna do that. And then right across from the window, I'm gonna come over here. Just cause I couldn't get my XL. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a finger's width of glue back off. I think that should be enough. Okay, and then I'm gonna stair step this on. Add it. Okay, so we're putting in this large accordion pockets is what this is going to be. You get large accordion pockets. For some reason, my glue did not stick over here. So I'm gonna re, <laughs> re glue that one. Did I just not glue it? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so we have a pocket here and a pocket here. A pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here. And those are pretty good sized pockets. So, um, and we've attached it to, to our, um, our goodie here. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and come here. And I'm putting glue just on this top pocket. Just the top pocket cover flap. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. We can cut that off. So if you wanted an ephemera holder to hold larger ephemera, including, I mean, this could hold pockets and flips and tags and the whole, whole enchilada. I might make enchiladas today. <laughs> Okay, so that will go like that. Now, um, okay, so that side is at least built. That side is built. Now I want to do something to this side. I'm thinking using one of those pockets might be a good idea because it did give us a nice, nice, healthy uh, hold. So I don't know if you saw this, but we have the accordion thing happening here. And I will come in after I decide what to do about these flaps. And I will have this come all the way up to the lip. But it makes it so that you can open those easily. Okay. Um, I could fix it so that the flaps go down or at least this one goes down under we'll see okay so let's grab another one of those big envelopes let's get one that has has a nice find one with a nice flap
Okay, I think I'll take this one. They're not, none of them are like great. Okay, so we, just like we did before, we have to take the, the envelope apart because it's a little bit too big. And we're just gonna deconstruct and reconstruct our envelope. This one's a little bit different than the other. You see, this has straight up sides. That's okay. Oh, we need it to be on this side that we are folding it in. Okay, we folded it in about that much. This one, I don't want this to be inter interfering. Now this is going to give us more um, more edge on this side. We could go ahead. You know what? I think we will. We're going to go ahead and cut this and cut this down. Now we're going to put glue back where the glue was before. Glue this side. Just give this one same thing. Glue. Okay. Fold it up. Oh, this one's taller. Huh. Well, we'll see. to the end. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this up. own there. Okay. Just watching out for that pokey side. Okay. Go ahead and put glue under that so that it'll stay down. And then we're going to be gluing this whole side down. So we did an ephemera holder this time um, because uh, in case you didn't want to put all your embellishments that you had to make for the challenge into your journal, then it gave you the option to have a an ephemera holder to hold part of it. Okay, there we go. We've got another large pocket. Okay. Okay, now I also had added that I wanted to add um, these. I'm going to add this with that so that I could put things in here that um, I 
This one has a hole in it, so we'll use this one. Um, that I could put things in here and they wouldn't come out because of the tape. So we're going to use double-sided tape to fill this one. Or to, to attach it. Okay, I want to make sure that my flap is on the underside and that I am taping on the back and I'm going to start down here. No, no, start here because this will be going in the other direction. I went too too long on both ends. I cut the little piece off. You can just flip them over. Okay. So push it down and then pull it up to take it up. Okay, then we'll put that, that one down over there. Push it down. This is the double-sided tape that I get at the Dollar Tree. Put this in here and I'll be able to put like stickers and things like that in here that I don't want you know running all over the place and I think I am gonna take the flap off here because I can add paper clips along this right here so I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, so there's... There's that. I think I do want to add a second one here. This one I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna just cut it across. It's gonna be a little shorter, but that'll give me another one that I can add there. Okay. Definitely want to go across um, where the inside piece is going to be on this one, and then I'm going to go across this one side. Okay, then we'll take these off again, like we did the other one. Opening. There's the opening, and I'm going to just lay this one down. Okay, so I have an opening here, and I can put things in there. I have this opening starts right there. I have a pocket that I can use here 
and I have this edge that I can add um, paper clips to if I want to. And then we've got this right here so we can put like large tags in there. And so the only thing is, is I want to figure out. Okay, I think this one closing is going to be a good idea. I think this one should close underneath here. Like that. And then this can close to the front. Okay. So, yeah, so we have a base. That's basically a base. We have a base. That's basically what I was looking for was an ephemera holder base. And so um, any pieces of ephemera that I had left, I was originally thinking about putting this shorter pocket across there, but I like the idea of these. And um, so if I was sending a, a journal off, <laughs> and I should have my ephemera pieces, my, my leftover stuff that I have for right now is in here. Okay, so things like these, um, well, you've got this little ephemera piece and I could put that in there and I could put this little rose in there. Okay. Um. Let's see, I've got like this big piece. It could, they could go, it could go in here or it could go in here. I know I had, yeah, there it is. Paper clip. Okay, so I'm gonna put the first one up here because we have room. So a paper clip could go on there. Um, if it's a shorter paper clip, it could go over here. We've got these cute little, these that we made. So they can go along there. I have a couple of Okay, so we have this paper clip that we made. It's gonna have to go in at this angle. It could go also here or here. I think we'll put it here. Yeah, it'll still close. Okay, so something could go back here. You have digitals already cut out and ready. Maybe you have, it, um, let's see. Remember we made the envelopes the other day. So whatever you think that, I mean, even like the stencil that I used could go, could go in here. So it would have been good, would have been good to make this at the beginning and then have a place to put things as I was making them for this journal. That would have been, a, that would have been a great idea. Okay, I'm going to go in here and find out what else I have. And then these I can use in this journal or I can use, um, I mean, I can use them in my ch challenge journal or in something that, you know, for later. Okay. 
And I think the other thing that might be kind of cool to add is to have a one of these that you just put your pieces in and it can go in one of the, the giant pockets, right? I'm trying to find the, these are from the wrapping paper. Okay, so you can fill that up, fill up an a old package, packaging and add that in there and it's easy to get to. Okay, so that is my ephemera holder. And um, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and use my paper clip to close that, okay? And remember I have this one here that I can use also. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave it I think we can get into it still really well. Okay, so you can go ahead and get into all those pockets really easily and then just close them back up. I don't even think we need a closure on them, on the pockets. And then, let's see, for a closure for this, again, remember I am... Um, I'm using just junk or things from around the house, everyday around the house things, okay? So let's put my, I'm trying to use this one up because I've got, I've got four of those glues over here open. It's like, okay, that's too many. Okay, so this can go on here. So I think this would make a great working ephemeral holder. You know, kind of like the one that we made a couple years, um, a couple years back. Remember the one that we made out of the file folder? I'll try and find that um, video. And um, so we we had all kinds of places to put things. Okay, so that one I used the um, the privacy envelopes, but I turned them inside out. We had little belly bands and tucks and pockets, but there was places to put things all over in this, and it was made out of a file folder. And um, yeah, it was the all about the base, I believe. And um, we made we made a bunch of bases. <laughs> Okay, so this needs a closure, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add, um, not the 58, I'm keeping that. We'll keep the 67 and the 64, and I will attach that with my mini attacher. Actually, I think I'll just attach the 67. And I'm going to try and do it kind of in a magnitude two. Two staples on it. Okay. And then I can use my binding string. Okay. Binding string. And then you can just go ahead and go around it twice and give it a poof. And there we go. Now this time I didn't make like any beads out of um, paper or any of that yet. <laughs> I might still do that for the tassel. I'm going to go ahead and just add a not to the bottoms of both of these. Okay, so there is my ephemera holder. 
and um, I think it will be it will be useful. Now, uh, you can cover all the things and make it prettier if you want to make it prettier, uh, but I just needed to have an ephemera holder base. Okay, so I've got a place here for things. I've got a place here that I can put um, tags. Even if I was if I was working with stuff, like if I was going to be using a certain stencil or something like that, um, I could add that in here. Um, if, we, I, you know, this is from the Patreons, uh, from their kit this month. So if I was going to put like some of those in, things that I want to use, got this paper clip is actually it's over here and it's the way that it's on that bar it's not gonna um, not gonna move very well okay so yeah so places to put things here places to put things here um, and then of course our three large pockets over here that we can add you know, even if you have, like if you've gotten a piece that's ready, we can put, I just think, I think this is going to be cool. I'm going to use this as my ephemeral holder as I make my embellishments this for February. Okay, so there you go. There's my ephemeral holder. And now we need to make a tassel. And so I'm going to be using the towel. Okay, I'm using the towel. Remember, this is uh, for my garden journal that I've been making. Okay, so let's go ahead and I've cut four little slits off the top here. So this is for my personal garden journal that I'll be using probably for the next several years or few. Uh, my last one I used for four years. So let's see if I, if I do that. 10, we're at 13 inches. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take the, the fraying off, so the, the threads, and then I'm gonna cut it in half and add it to the pile over there. Two. And now I'm trying to remember where I put the, the gift basket pieces, because I need those. Okay, this one's a little bit thicker, but it's cool because it's it's got more of the green. Okay, so that that is going to give me a tassel. Okay, so I have, this is the spine from the book that I used, which was A Treasury of Country Cottages Journal. I have the handle pieces from the, um, from the gift bag. So we can go ahead and this is the inside of the handle. So if you go ahead and you reach in here, You've got cording <laughs> on the inside. Okay, so I have this piece of cording, and then I have this piece, and this one, eventually, I mean, it's it comes apart. I saw that I used it for the, um, for the paperclip. Okay, so, so 
So that gives us two. So our base of our tassel, it just has to be, actually tassel was one of the three things, the ephemeral holder, the tassel, and um, ephemeral holder, the tassel, I'm having to go through and find my cover. Okay, so um, I made the cover out of the book. So there, that'll give me a couple more things to add in here. And I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to use that up here. And I'm just going to tie it over. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull this piece over like that. Actually, we'll put that inside. Okay, that can go inside there. And put one of these on each. This one in the middle. Okay. And got my towel again. This towel was a wedding present. So it's um, 14, almost 14 years old. <laughs> Given to me by one of my mom's best friends. And it's just kind of cool to be able to, to use it for my garden journal, I think. It was going to the rag bag. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and tie it. Okay, not real happy with that. I don't have any, there's no wire in anything that I use, so. There we go. There, we're just gonna, I was gonna tie it in a bow, but I think we'll just double tie it and let it, let it hang as a fluffy tassel like that. Fray the edges down here. Okay, come down and cut the okay. So, gift bag and and that, and then, let's see. I'm gonna cut it right across there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and 
Okay, I want to put something in here. I think we'll put a piece of the fabric in here. Okay, that's on the inside. We're going to make a little charm that we can hang in there. over and hold it. Mm, yeah, that ain't gonna work. We're gonna cut that off and just go with the fabric edge. up here cut across okay and then we'll grab our crocodile and we're gonna add a, a hole Crocodile is amazing because it goes through anything, even a tin can. Okay, so there's that. It'd be cool if I had a 24 to add to this, but I do not. And so um, to add this, we're going to use part of our binding kit. Okay. and tie it so that tie it down there and I'm going to give it a couple of knots for for decoration And then we'll go ahead and add it. Okay, I need a need I need a needle. I think. <laughs> go through the middle of this. Nope, I'm not on the bottom. Okay. I'll go ahead and get through it and then then add my thread. Okay, that'll get me through.
So that, I'm going to go ahead and let, let it hang like that. So book, gift bag, and that. And then I think for our other piece, um, we'll go to the leftovers. I was going to go to the paper pad, but I don't want to cut a paper pad <laughs> for some little tiny, tiny thing. There's the word spring. Oh, this is from the coloring book. It's from the coloring book. That might be good. I think we'll go with the coloring book piece there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And cut this here. 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 Let me go ahead and attach this and build it on here because I already, I forgot I needed. So the paper clip would be from my binding kit. This is my, actually my extra clip because obviously it is, okay, we're going to, um, we're going to go ahead and get this started. We're going to leave a little bit down at the bottom. Okay. Go ahead and come around and around. We're going to have too much glue. So let's grab this to grab some of that glue. Okay. Come around the edge. Lay it down. And we've made a little charm out of the coloring book that I used. It was one of my mom's coloring books, uh, Secret Garden. Go ahead and grab the gobbledygook off the top of the fabric tack. And then I'm just gonna bring it over and butt it up against where the where that ended. Okay, so I have the word spring on here. That came from the leftovers. And I have So it says spring journal. Okay. Now another thing that I like to do with my um, with my fluffy tassels is turn them into knotty tassels. So go ahead and adding 
knots at various um, lengths on the fabric and it gives it more texture and interest and so I just think that it's a fun little addition. It's um, I used to make hair pieces for weddings when I did um, back when I did flowers. I had wedding flower business and I would add the knots to my to the the head pieces. They actually it looks kind of boho. It looks really kind of cool. You don't have to add it to all of them, all of the pieces, but you just go through and add them to some and um So this is going to be the tassel and I will put it on using the um, the paper clip, that large yellow and white paper clip. Now, uh, I, I don't use the tassel um, for the, when I'm actually using the garden journal. So like from now until November <clears throat> or uh, probably October and so the the journal uh, the tassel will just sit where the journal is usually where it lives because it it literally becomes a very important part of my every day um, once I like well I'll be bringing in the things to start my seeds here in a couple days and so starting then you know what let's go ahead and we'll give this a knot I should have given I should have um, knotted them before I um, cut them Okay, so knotty tassel and an ephemera holder. And with that, my journal is finished. You'll be able to find the link. Um, actually, tonight I will put the um, my finished journal up. And so you can watch that first thing in the morning. And then um, our challenge is tomorrow. February 1st, we'll have a new challenge. Um, yeah, so our diamond and emerald, pearl, and topaz Patreons have already uh, gotten a sneak peek. And so they, and they're in the group. They're already in the February group and um, some of them already have their albums started. And so that is exciting. So yeah, so February 1st, we'll have our details video and I'm looking forward to that. And I'm really glad that I actually got my journal finished, finished on time. So that means I get to be at the VIP. <laughs> so um, yeah, so there you go. I wonder 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 i'm gonna go ahead and put another knot in this it truly is a knotty knot e tassel made it made with including knots <laughs> Yeah, this way it, it'll sit closer up. It won't be, um, yeah, okay. So, there we go. Then we'll move this back. Okay, so there's my tassel was no hassle and 
these two these pieces can go back in the leftovers I have been having a lot of fun with the tear book and um, as I clean off my desk uh, some of the things have gone into the tear book instead of into the trash um, or back into another pile and that has been wonderful and here's my journal and the tassel can just be added just like that okay so just like that added and that's what you'll see from the outside um, so yeah I think it's a really 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 fun really cool and I am excited to have it finished. Here is my ephemeral holder. So, yeah. So if you didn't see, I made an ephemeral holder. And I'm actually going to use this in February to add my pieces as I make them. And so I think that will be a great way instead of using a little container that some that I think everything will that I make that goes in it will fit in here and then we also made a tassel to add to the the journal and I love the way that we did this this was from the I made a charm out of the spine of the book and I made a little paperclip charm that says spring and so yeah so my journal is very full very 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 full and um, i do know that i'm gonna want to add some um, graph papers to it but i decided that it was probably better to go ahead and do my layout of my garden and then put it in here and that way I can just go ahead and add it in as a tip in. There is plenty of room in here. I probably might, I probably might even take some of the tags and things out of it now. Um, and um, because what I do with this is mostly writing and drawing. Um, I don't add, and then I add in um, like seed packets and things like that so i went ahead and pages um like this i can add a seed packet or i can add information about when i of growing tulips because i do have tulips in my garden um one year uh well the year i turned 58 i think it was 58 i planted uh, yeah, it must have been because I planted 116 bulbs um, in honor of my mom and dad. On my, on my birthday, I planted 58 and 58. 58 for my mom, 58 for my dad. So um, then I have, I have the beautiful tulips are here also. And um, I have, you know, the tuck has a mystery. So there will be a full flip through of this. And so I hope you will watch that. Um, I will put that up to, to go out um, in the middle of the night. <laughs> so it'll be there for you to watch in the morning before the premiere. And so I hope you will take a few minutes and do that. And so, yeah, so there's your look. Here's my little my notebook that I made using a card and this will probably actually come out and become um, part of it'll go in my purse and um, have my list of things that I need to purchase or excuse me excuse me things I'm looking for so there you go um, my January Just Junk Journal Challenge journal for 2024. And I made a garden journal. I made my ephemera holder out of um, the wallpaper and then the tassel. Okay, so my 
my three other things were the cover, the ephemera, and the tassel. And then I have my 15 embellishments or page um, ideas are all in here. There's my tip in, there's my tuck with the mystery. Um, I have my five edges, you saw that yesterday, and the five tabs. Um, the first, uh, one of the first pages. Oh, that's the tip in. I thought it was in the beginning that you see the, the um, really cool belly band, but I guess it's not. Yeah, so this is from the gift bag. I made my snippet, my last piece of snippet, I added it to the edge here. Um, yeah, I just, I think it's really, really cool. There's a lot, a lot going on in this journal. It actually would be a great uh, idea journal like we did last month. And so, yeah, so watch for the flip through of this. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you tomorrow at 1030 Pacific Standard Time with our brand new journal challenge for February. Bye. Bye-bye.